So Lisa, let's start with prayer. I love yeah. it. Would you lead us in prayer? Oh, I thank you. I'm honored. Um, well, Abba Father, I just thank you that right now um, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Um, and we don't even need to worry about that, that you are um, orchestrating everything that concerns us and that this isn't just about me or my immediate needs, but Father, it, there's a bigger picture here unfolding. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I just thank you that our words are guided by your precious Holy Spirit, that we speak mm -hmm. life into every situation and everyone that would be listening that would come across this video. And, mm -hmm. and Lord, we just ask that hearts would be opened Father, that your, your healing would just start and do the work that needs to be done in each heart and each situation specifically. Lord, we give honor and we give praise to you, and we just ask that you direct our conversation, that it's pleasing to you, and that it is comfort and encouragement to others. In the name of Jesus our Savior, our mighty warrior, and our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for that. I am in so agreement. And uh, for everybody that's watching, you know, welcome. Thank you so much for um, showing up and for uh, listening to this beautiful story because there's a greater message like Lisa was sharing. Mm -hmm. Lisa, uh, you made a post two days ago, two days ago. Right. What are your thoughts about this incredible um, movement of the spirit since then? Why don't we start at the beginning? Share a little bit about where you were and what, <laughs> made you, what inspired you to just get that SOS out there for prayers. Well, you're going to have to time me, Maria, because we don't want to lose people and it could go on forever. I don't want to do that. Uh, but <laughs> um, obviously I came across this um, Facebook Bible study group with uh, Faith Gateway um, study group, and we're doing In the Middle of the Mess by Sheila Walsh. And I have to tell you, the title of the book is what grabbed me, which I think is what I'm hearing from a lot of the people in the group. You know, that that was the catcher because we're all in our own mess, right? Oh, yeah. Um, and in stages of mess. Um, and so I had even commented on, on one of the posts that um, I'm a big hot mess <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen and how God's going to fix this. So just sitting back and watching that unfold. Um, and that was my first comment. And that was in um, response to a general post that then one of the admins of the group um, gave an invitation for us to introduce ourselves and then just, you know, share what our mess is. And so many people, um, and so many varied degrees and ranges and circumstances of, of what they've been through, what they're going through. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I hesitated at first, uh, but then I just went ahead and because I knew one, the main thing I needed people praying Absolutely. and I, I know about intercessory prayer. I am an intercessor myself. Um, I've gotten away from that with all of life's circumstances, mm -hmm. but I knew that prayer would achieve more than what anything else I could do or anybody else could do. Um, and I knew that just, you know, pulling on the ear of God <laughs> would make things happen a lot faster. So that was my plea. I, I just explained that the situation right now um, is high levels right now. I, I got a notice to vacate my apartment on um, the 5th of June. Um, and that was a five day notice, which means I have to be out tomorrow, which is Monday, June 11th. Um, so we're making this video on Sunday, June 10th. Right. The apartment manager has been very good about working with me. I have some medical issues, which I was just diagnosed with in February of 2017. And that has been 
um, a journey that I'm still kind of navigating through. Mm. Um, has to do with my eyes. Um, I don't know. Do you want me to go into detail about that or just high level and let them know? Well, I mean, you know, uh, I think you shared that on the post. On the I post. think that, um, you know, um, we, we know the power of God to heal and Absolutely. to free. Yeah. And um, so I believe that you are um, continuing with some specialists to help. I do. Yes. I have, I actually have two doctors. I have an optometrist who specializes in, um, a specific eye diseases and then I have an ophthalmologist who is a corneal specialist because the issues are with my cornea but I have not just one two, I have actually three <laughs> different disorders that are affecting my cornea and honestly I through this journey of now what about 18 months since my diagnosis I have not understood fully how serious the issue is but it has um, taken on a life of its own. I, in my humanness, mm -hmm. I've honestly gotten very, very frustrated and discouraged. Yeah. Um, it's gotten to the point that I'm having issues back to back recurrently. Um, I've missed work, uh, now almost two months. I'm having some issues with the short term disability getting approved. So my last paycheck was actually dated April 19th. Oh, and wow. then my short-term disability got denied because of some paperwork mishap. So I'm having to appeal that. In the meantime, I don't have income coming in. And because of my medical issues and everything, um, obviously I can't work anywhere yeah. else. Which so, makes sense because you right. were behind three months of rent, April, yeah. May, and then June. So we're looking at three months. And so there is a gap where you are and where you need to be. And that's right. why when I saw your post, because I had gone through something very similar with my neighbor to help her avoid eviction. So it was like fresh in my experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I saw, I couldn't help but seeing, you know, there were like 200, you know, people that posted, you know, um, likes and comments. And I kind of was doing the math and I said, you know, wouldn't it be, amazing if we all contributed something you know i think i put like twenty dollars from the beginning and i asked you the question i said lisa you know i know you don't know me but would it be <laughs> helpful for you to, to pass that gap so that you can get back on your feet mm -hmm. and you were like what were your thoughts when i threw that idea in there because uh, yeah. that's not what you wanted i mean oh no 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 because i like was I said, last on so, your mind so let me just throw this out real quick. In 2000, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor and the initial diagnosis was a glioblastoma. I was given six months to live. It's 2018, obviously that didn't happen. So at that time, I mean, that was something God carried me through miraculously and saved my life. So I know about the power of prayer and miracles. And yes. miracles. Um, and even back then, the prayer was that I wouldn't have to go through surgery, but the morning of the surgery, when I went in for my stealth MRI, the, the tumor had actually grown. And so I went through surgery anyway. Well, what happened during that is in my recovery, there were two nurses, one in the ICU and one in my regular room, but there were two nurses that came to the Lord because of the, the, the encounter, not just with me, but there were, you know, people from my church and, you know, just them seeing me and the people anyway, so the goal there wasn't just about my healing. It was about bringing some souls into the kingdom, right? Yes. Well, so in, when you said that, my, I was like, one, honestly, the, the negative voice that goes in my head, and like all of us sometimes, mm -hmm. was I was embarrassed because I thought that, oh my gosh, did my post sound like that? Because that's not what I was asking for. Because I'm enjoying the study group and I, you know, this isn't about asking for funds for, you know, right. but then other people started saying that and I'm just like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not what I wanted. I just want you guys praying. And then when you made a comment and then I think at least a baton made a comment and then it, there was jet, so all these people were, and I couldn't stay on, uh, for very long because of my eyes, I have to be careful about electronics, but, I would jump back on and there were more and more comments. Well, at that point I was like, what are you doing, God? What are you doing? 
and um, that's when I really just heard him, you know, just felt him telling me in my spirit that he's been waiting on me and um, instead of just me pacing back and forth and trying to fix it like I'm used to doing, um, trying to figure things out, he just said, I'm just waiting on you. Let me be your husband and let me be the head of your home. Um, so I was like, okay. So that, that was Friday. And then I think it was you and, and several of the other ladies were talking about a PayPal or some way to get yeah. funds. There was Lisa, Penny, and even a gentleman from like, Australia. What? Yes. Ryan? It's I know. And so I was, well, I had already had a PayPal because, you know, that's a yeah. means of currency on other things other ways to get people paid or pay for services or whatever. So I had that already set up. So I just put that out there on the comment. But again, that negative voice, I was like, I don't want to turn this group into a front. That's not what this is about. But what happened then I started seeing comments of these women that, and men and men sharing their need whether it was financial or, you know, healing or situations or relationships or family or jobs, whatever, just all this stuff started pouring in these comments. And so my heart was touched even more then. And I just thought, God, this isn't about me. Um, and honestly, my thought was, my desire was if, if there's enough money that comes in, this needs to be shared, you know, take care of, of what I need to get taken care of, uh, you know, be wise, but also bless some other people. Yes. And, and then as I was praying Friday night and Saturday, um, I just ha got this impression that I'm, when, when people are hurting like this, um, Christian brothers and sisters who have honestly tried and have exhausted all of their resources, whatever the circumstances, it, it, whether it's financial, a lot of it usually financial because it's connected to health or medical needs or right. housing or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Um, um, or even one, one person of this, this was not in this group, but this was about six months ago. One person, that was having issues getting her husband over to the States because they didn't have enough money, you know, just think separating families like that. Right. Yeah. And so yes. my thought was, why can't there be some kind of, um, a, a ministry or some kind of a connection or people pulling together yeah. that Christians, when they have needs like this, that, that can be vetted and, and, and then they're blessed because, yes, there's the local church and, and there's members, you know, I'm a member of my church. My church is trying to help too. They won't be able to help with all of it. Um, I've gone to all my local resources mm -hmm. and, and they're helping as they can. Um, but when there's other people that have needs like that, just to know that there's some place they can go to where one, they can feel safe. Yes. And two, they can know that, Relax. somebody yeah and just yeah. exhale Fail. and they can know that their needs are going to get get met and their dignity or, their human dignity absolutely also. and that's what it is Treasure my itself. situation has been I, i'm twice divorced my first two marriages um financially they they we always struggled and um especially my last marriage, I, my ex-husband just could not hold down a job. So he went through several, multiple jobs, um, actually 32 jobs over 18 years. Oh, wow. And so I was always having to scramble and, and juggle and try to fix things. And so that has been most of my adult life. And then once, um, 
I was divorced and had my daughter and, you know, single mom raising her, you know, just, I'd gotten laid off in 2013, got laid off again in 2015. And then it got this job that I love very, very much. And I'm good at it. And then went through some things in 2016 with family, five family members, significant crisis um, with five, two of them, my daughter, one of them, my sister, one, my mother, and then my stepdad. And then 2017, boom, I get diagnosed with this. And it's just been like, yeah, I need some relief. After another, and we prayed right. about that too. We prayed, we said that, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, there are things that we don't even know that are going on in the spiritual realm and you being an inter- intercessor, I think you, you understand right. um, that um, the need for, for not just prayer from the community, but, you know, um, yourself. Um, and we had the blessing of praying together. But as I was listening to your story, you know, and all these people on the thread start sharing their struggles and their, yeah. their own stories. It was almost like, as I was listening to you, hearing God saying, okay, daughter, you are my intercessor. Look at the need in the <laughs> Get back to work. Yeah, yeah. Let me take care of your needs. Give me the reins here. Let me take the reins because I want you to mm-hmm. come back and, and do what I, you know, um, equipped you to do to right. uh, pray. Yeah. Indeed, and you're so beautiful in that. So I know that for those that are watching right now, and um, really and truly, you know, you and I spent like a couple of hours, you know, getting to know. Each other. <laughs> we did. And that it was, was not. Um, yeah, that was a call. I don't think either of us expected to go that way, but you know, God did what He needed to do. He um, did. I want to. Really yeah, did. I want to interject something real quick because this is the other thing, and I haven't even spoken to you about this. Um, and just explaining that resource, you know, for, for other Christians mm-hmm. needing a resource, but, and I'm don't want to limit it to just Christians. Cause there's people that are lost that need They're also God's that, beloved, you know, it, it, it's one thing to tell people that you're going to pray for them, but it's another thing to put on the, the, the face of Jesus and be his hands and be his feet. And that is, that is where, ministry hits home. That's where you reach people, whether it's your brother or sister in the Lord, or whether it's somebody who doesn't believe in the gospel or, you know, has even turned their back on God, whatever the case may be. But actually Jesus fed the crowd before he ever spoke a word. So he met their physical need. Yes. Before. And so that goes along with this and I is, when we're in survival mode like that, um, we are in fight or flight and we may not be in the middle of a bear chasing us, but our body's chemistry and our body's response and the way our brain activates and fires those, those cells and those neurons, it is fight or flight. It kicks up our adrenaline. It kicks up the cortisol and that results in, in stress. And you can have a steady, um, uh, level of stress from day to, to, to day without being under attack, but it's, yes. it's what your body will grow accustomed to, which is where I've been and where a lot of people mm. have been and are. What that does is it keeps us from ever being able to operate in that executive level of our brain. And that is where God's creativity is. And so when I was praying about this, and this was just this morning, is that that's where God wants his people to be. He wants us to be operating in that executive level of thinking and processing. And that with, I mean, God created our brains for a reason. And all of the capabilities we have, all the inventions that we have and and things that continue to be discovered and invented is all part of God's plan and his creation. Um, my point being when, when we can be in a place where we're feeling safe and we feel secure and we're not in panic mode, then we can move to that executive level of thinking. And that's where I think a lot of what's in store for the church to be able to reach the world is waiting 
Does, does that make sense? It makes complete sense. And speaking of the church, we have Julie Brown that just joined us. Julie, uh, can you hear us? Julie, can yes. you hear us? Oh, there she is. Uh oh, Julie. Yes. I think you're coming on. Uh, we can't see you. If you start your camera, all you need to do is move the cursor on top of the icon and uh, where the camera is, and then just click on it so we can see you. But if you can give us a shout out, go ahead. And while Julie is trying to connect, I want to let everyone know that uh, I put below the PayPal link. Um, I am making this call, this plea to support in this moment, this beloved daughter of God, uh, Lisa, because we have a gap that we need to make. You know, she um, is going to have some resources coming in in the very near future, going back to work, some disability, but there is uh, three months worth of uh, rent that uh, tomorrow when I go talk to the manager, I want to at least say we've got at least half of it met because that will be enough, right? We can come with, with half and we are... We've raised 245 plus another wonderful friend of yours. I mean, she cut hair for two days. Uh, is that yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Bless Who her heart. She? So, so one of my friends, um, she's in our singles group, but one of my friends offered to just do kind of a little mini fundraiser and she offered her services for anybody who wanted to come in and get their hair cut and just donate whatever they felt led to donate. And she, I think she came up with like $185. $180. And you know yeah. what? I, I felt, uh, you know, what are my skills? What are my talents that I could do to help the cause? And I think I'll do a separate video because, you know, I, sometimes, you know, when you uh, use your gifts and talents, like she did, you know, mm -hmm. you can raise monies as well, but I put the link, to the PayPal down um, below and we're trying to reach uh, 3000 and there are hundreds of people that um, liked your post or continue to post. And Lisa, that to me is a community. I mean, we can't, I mean, we could try to go out of this pond if you will, but they now thanks to this video, they are getting to know you, to like you and to trust you. And um, I'm believing that people are going to say, yes, I want to be part of, the miracle of community because the Lord <laughs> wants us to um, serve one another in community. Um, yeah. That's how he operates. And so, you know, what we have you know, raised so far, I am believing God is going to multiply it. I'm right there with you. And there again, even as you're speaking, yes, I, I have a critical urgent need, but I'm still thinking about, for instance, this would not be happening right now if Sheila Walsh hadn't gone through everything she went through and started her ministry and then reached out and started this whole Bible study. Mm -hmm. None of this would even be taking place. So you have to think back to even back there that because what God put on her heart and her compassion and her passion to reach people. Yeah this is happening right now. And, and I truly believe there's, I don't know what it is. I don't, I really, I don't have any idea, Maria, but it's not just about me. There's something much bigger than this. Well, all of us, I think in some way, as we're connecting, relating to you and we're sharing our stories, you know, all of us are, are, are having revelation. Me, for example, when I was talking to you for that two hours and you shared your story about your daughters, I have a young daughter. And I was praying the last week of starting my own ministry, the Fully Alive Women Movement, because I want to bring back to God the prodigal daughters and um, that are lost, that need to find mm -hmm. their way, right? So that we can, in the ministry, guide them to fully heal, live, love, and lead God's way. So in a way, God used you to confirm something that has been a burden in my heart for a long time, because mm -hmm. I know what it's like being a prodigal daughter and um so anyway that that to me uh helped me encounter the lord in a powerful way and i'm like okay lord but how how do i go about this because maybe my way of doing this is not your way and you know what i i love joyce meyer i went to a conference and i mm -hmm. you know, she has these beautiful daily encouragement scriptures yeah. and before i logged on this call i said lord i uh, just speak to me and i pulled out a scripture um 
that basically said, you know, because I was asking the Lord, well, gosh, maybe my way of doing things, I want it to be your way. And the Lord was saying through Isaiah 55, 9, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, Amen. my thoughts than your thoughts. So even though, you know, for you and for me or for anybody that's watching this, our messes, our struggles, it seems like there's no way. With God, there's always a way. Amen. There's God was always a way. And I don't know, Amen. Julie, Julie, are you there? Can you speak to us? Yes. Can you hear me? We can yeah. hear you. Yay. Praise the Lord. Okay. I finally figured it out. Hey, Julie. Uh, yes. At least we got the audio going. What about the video? If you um, um, scroll over to the video icon and just click on it, it'll uh, allow you to be seen and we can see you. Or if not, at least we have you on the on the call, the virtual call. Yeah, yeah I tried that and um, it keeps saying start my video and I keep oh. touching it and it's not coming on. Oops. And shows okay. um shows the uh video with a line through it so i'm trying to touch it to un undo it and um it's not working so well i think when you're hitting that too you're you're muting your mic yes yeah don't mute your mic uh let's uh, <laughs> unmute you uh go ahead and unmute. there we go julie so julie now that you're here i'm going to give you a chance to talk to Lori. Because you met her. I'm Lisa. I'm Lisa. Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> it's okay. Because you also met her on the thread. And so here's your opportunity. Uh, Julie, here's Lisa. Lisa, there's Julie. Go ahead, ladies. Connect. Uh, hi, Julie. Uh, hi. How are you? Uh, I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm, I'm good. We're getting there. So uh, now tell me where you are. Where are you located? Uh, I'm in um, North Florida. Okay. Um, in the near Jacksonville. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know where that's at. Um, actually, my yeah. middle daughter and son-in-law stayed there for the first part of his naval um, commitment. <laughs> but um, so, can I ask you? Right. We're go ahead. We're just a few miles down the road from the naval station. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, so actually, I'm in Orange Park, so okay. um, just right down there from uh, right close to it. Um, can you tell me what was it about my post that that spoke to your heart, or what what was it that made you want to make a comment or or respond? Um, can you just share that part? Uh, well. Uh, just seeing, you know, the, the dire need that this woman is in, um, or, or that Lisa is in, um, I'm having a difficult time myself, but I uh, have a roof over my head. I've um, been here for about a year. Um, I left, I left a, um, a, a very stable and good job in West Palm Beach. And um, uh, came up here because um, our one son is um, living up here who was raised in West Palm Beach. And I have two other sons that ha passed in their mid-20s. Oh, geez. And uh, like in 2010 and 11. And I'm going through a very difficult time myself. But... Um, my heart just went out to Lisa because uh, she, you know, can't, she's having a hard time um, even working and she's got, you know, kids. How many kids does she have? Well, How now, so I, you have Lisa. Yeah, I have to do Lisa, Julie. That's, that's Lisa. Yeah. I, Hey, Julie, it, it's, this is me you're talking to. This is Lisa. So I, actually, I have three daughters, but my, my oldest two are grown and married. My youngest one um, is 20 and she is um, pretty much out of the house, but she, there's still, I have actually quite a bit of doctor bills from some situations I've had with her. And um, so that, that's, 
I didn't share that. That's been some struggle that I've had before that I've had to make payments on with everything else that I've had to take care of. Um, and then I've got three grandsons as well. Uh, but you said something when I asked you to respond is that, so you left a, a good job and then you moved to where you're at now because of the situation with your sons. Is that what I'm understanding? Uh, yes, my husband's disabled and uh, he didn't, uh, we didn't have any family down there anymore and he wanted to, he wanted, he wanted to um, come up here and be with, uh, he felt we should all be together and I dragged my feet for a while for um you know about leaving my job which is he's on disability i'm the major wage earner mm -hmm. and um he's been on disability since 2011 hasn't worked and um you know i've been um asked god to uh you know just go before me and because uh, I'm 60 years old and um, I really need to keep working and um, after about eight months I finally got a job but it didn't work out so I only worked there for the three months and uh, so I'm going through a, a uh, and this isn't about me so I don't know if I should be telling you all this but this is really about her well, uh, about, well, about well, we, we so. were, uh, Julie, um, and you're talking, by the way, directly to Lisa. Lisa's the one who wrote the <laughs> post. And Lisa, earlier, as we were sharing, said the same thing you just said. This is not about me. <laughs> and so See? your story, what you're sharing, Julie, are the, the, the needs that you have in yourself, your family, and we want to pray for those needs. We want to come together as the body of Christ. And, and by the way, Julie, uh, that's uh, the gift that um lisa has is intercessory prayer and we know that prayer moves you know hearts moves mountains and so yeah it's it's so appropriate that you're sharing absolutely your story here and julie so so that's why i'm asking you dear so i don't want you to you're safe here with us and i you don't have to go into great detail if you don't want to i don't want to push you for that but but i also want you to know that you can share what you're going through and um because that's really i think part of where this is going and where you know the the response from my post may be going i don't want to put god in a box but i'm just seeing that obviously this is an opportunity for us as as believers yeah that are broken and in the middle of our mess even though we're in the middle of our mess that we can be able just to kind of lean on each other at the same time and Connect and each other and 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 just love on each other so julie so from what i'm understanding is your because your husband's disabled and you were where you were prior was you didn't have any family and so your husband felt like you needed to move up there to jacksonville where your son is for yes yeah. and health, we have correct? Uh, sorry that's okay go ahead um yeah we ha have two grandchildren too oh, that yeah. um, and i i wouldn't be planning to retire and uh, i had indefinite uh plans as to how long i'd be working <clears throat> we never really know <clears throat> how long we're going to be able to work but however long right. that was i was going to do it <laughs> and right I, I had a great job with a great boss and uh, I was making decent, really good money actually. And um, he, he said, we'll just trust God. And I, I just felt like, um, you know, it was very difficult to trade family for the job. So um, not that I don't want to be here with my family, but I really don't like it here. And um, so I'm just going through a really hard time. Let me ask you this at the, uh, top of the screen it says driving mode and that the video is stopped and on ah. the upper, upper right it says leave and and on the left it says speakers on how do I get out of this driving mode without disconnecting us um well I think if you if that's highlighted then that means obviously you're in driving mode so that's why you don't have your camera you know for safety right so, so how maybe, do I, 
You just hit it again. It? You should just be able to hit it again, right, Maria? Well, are you driving though? No. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I just want you to continue. But you know what? I Actually, haven't left, um, I, ha I haven't left the, the bedroom all day. I've been in. Well, in hey, Julie, real quick, before we get before we get sidetracked, real quick. Yeah. Okay. Something just came up when you were talking. So tell me, and whoever might watch this video after the fact, you never know. Tell me what you did before and what kind of job you're looking for. I worked in the office of an air conditioning company. Okay. Um, for nine years and before that, another air conditioning company for four. And uh, I've been doing clerical work all my life. And um, that's, that's what I like to do. But up here, there's just so many people. Um, I don't really know what else, what else right. I can do okay. here. Okay. So do you want to, are you wanting to stay in that industry because you're, you're comfortable with that industry or do you want to look at anything that would open up? Is it an executive secretary or executive assistant? What, what I, do you I, I'm not qualified for anything like that. Okay. Um, I'm just a general office worker basically who's been doing payroll, uh, like a payroll clerk. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, I'm not even, I've never even really, I don't have experience as an administrative assistant. Okay. Um, so uh, I, any industry doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be HVAC. Um, okay. But see, just, so, like, just like us talking like this, see, then that just opens a door where maybe somebody is looking for, you know, a, a general office worker or um you know they need to fill a position of somebody who's going to be in an office administrator or whatever and so there's there's an opportunity right there to just get that out um and you never know who's yeah. going to be watching this video later yeah, so i just never, wanted to you never know yeah and, you know if Go we ahead. could use this um these tools that technology gives us you know we can meet for bible study um or of course that's what we're doing i'm sorry I, you know I know that the, 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 the Bible study, we, and I'm new to it. I don't even know. I, somebody joined, I know. Me to join, but all I'm trying to say is when you use tools like this with zoom and you have members coming together, we share our needs. We can uh, collaborate, refer, we can pray like you and I pray, you know, we, we just, we come together and we meet our needs. What are your needs? But right now the needs that we are talking about very specifically are Lisa's so we're asking you to please uh, connect with um, the opportunity to raise the funds so that she can meet uh, her needs uh, for the um, for uh, staying at her apartment because it's you don't want to leave, right? You don't want to leave yeah. your apartment. No, no. I'm just right. I'm three actually I'm three miles from my office where I'm at. Yes, and, it, it's uh, not about she doesn't need to uproot and leave. She's got her office very close by. It's a beautiful Grapevine, Texas. Is gorgeous it is such a friendly place we don't want her to leave so no. anyway, i'm going to um close this appeal uh because i want to upload the video otherwise people are not going to watch an hour and a half long video You're right yeah so we want to thank you and i'm going to um pretty much turn it over to julie why should the people watching us you know support our sister in christ what was it that moved you? Because I, you know, I already shared mine. What would be your invitation to those that are watching this to help our sister? What would you tell them? Well, because <clears throat> um, the opportunity has arisen to be able to help this uh, Lisa, and um, there's definitely a, a, a need there, and uh, lots of people have said about praying but I feel like we should put um, action to our prayers yes. and um, go ahead and help her um, um, maybe there will be some other sources such as her church to help but I feel like um, if we can do if we can do more than pray um, and you know just go ahead and and help her out in in a little each a little bit as you said um i think that would be the the right thing to do if everybody on that thread gave five dollars 
You know, it doesn't even have to be twenty dollars, five or ten dollars. The goal would be met. And you right. know what? It would be met. And there's a saying back my, my husband from Spain, they say in Spanish, Adios rogando, pero al mazo dando. You pray to the Lord, but there's gotta be love in action. And so those that can, please support. And then let's continue the conversation because the needs are not just financial, they're spiritual, they're relational, they're emotional. And why don't we come together like this and build each other up? That would be God. He would be smiling on that because he said, it's, it's, it, he said, what's the greatest commandment that Jesus taught us? You shall love the Lord your God with all your mind, your heart, your soul, with all your strength, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. So that, right. I'll leave you with that. And then, Lisa, you have the last word. What would you like to share? To uh, What's your message? And maybe even uh, a prayer of gratitude to the Lord for all those wonderful, beautiful brothers and sisters that did respond with prayers, with support. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Uh, again, I'm honored. Um, I'm, I'm really overwhelmed and very humbled by the overwhelming response. I'm a crier. I'm just going to tell you. Um, but I just want to say, first of all, just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much for everyone who has offered to pray for me, um, who have actually contributed a tangible um, uh, assistance and for even several people were telling their church and their their intercessory group and so that just tells me right there I mean that is our weapon of warfare is the prayers and the intercession and um, this has so encouraged me and and given me hope because I honestly was in a very very dark place um, and feeling very distraught and hopeless and I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen after this video, but I know that whatever happens, that God is driving my bus now. And so I would just invite you, whoever you are, whoever's listening, um, wherever you're at in your circumstances or your life situation, that you would just step back a minute and let God take over and stop doing it yourself and trust him um, and just you know trust him to prove himself to you strong and mighty because he is our refuge um, let him be the first place you run to instead of the last resort yeah. um, so I just want to encourage you with that and I just want to pray over each of you that father in the name of Jesus your son, our redeemer, our savior, that his blood was shed for our salvation and his body was bruised and broken for our healing, our healing physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, relationally, in every context, even for our jobs, Julie, listen, and for our relationships with our, with our, our children and our spouses. Lord, that you will make a way when there seems to be no way, that you make rivers and streams in the driest of deserts, Father, and we call the dry bones to rise up in Jesus name we thank you for your provision for your healing for your grace and your direction in the name of Jesus amen Jesus. amen amen thank you so much that was beautiful that was beautiful and we declare that scripture over all our struggles and 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 situations that we're going through and with God you know um, he makes all things new and amen. There is nothing impossible with God. There's always a way. So thank you. Thank you for the gift of your presence, your time, your yes. And uh, again, I'll have the PayPal link on the bottom. And uh, we'll continue here ministering with Julie. Uh, but we wanted to thank you and God bless. We um, uh, also uh, would encourage you to share this video. And thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.